that the states are rewarded for taking children, and then they, they have the adoption money, and so now the families that adopt our children who become, I call them, you know, generational genocide, we cut off the parents, and we pay a reward to strangers who will rehome our children. I'm Cynthia Becker. I'm here with attorney Vince Davis and our guest attorney from Tennessee, Mrs. Connie Reguli. Connie's been doing law for 26 years. Connie, can you tell us why you decided to get into defending families fighting CPS? Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you for asking that. You know, I really came, I went to law school late in life because my family had owned a business and I'd worked with them for several years. And I, and when I first came out of law school, I ended up in the district attorney's office in a metropolitan area in Nashville. And I was put into the domestic violence and child abuse section. And, and so, you know, I really kind of got involved with working with families uh, right away. And when I got out and I went into private practice and just doing a variety of family issues, it seems like the DCS, it just, I guess it just kind of drifts your way. And I think Vincent can you know, probably tell you that as well. When you're an attorney in private practice, things start seem to start coming in your face. But I got really, when I really started seeing DCS being hyper aggressive, and I really started reaching out and um, and wanting to hold the judiciary accountable, wanting to make improvements in family court. I really just, as I, as I increased my knowledge on that and just how the system worked, and I found out that the federal funding with the, with the CPS program, from the federal government and the way our states are operating, that it's a very perverse funding system that, that the states are rewarded for taking children, and then they, they have the adoption money, and so now the families that adopt our children who become, I call them, you know, generational genocide. We cut off the parents and we pay a reward to strangers who will rehome our children. So I'm very, very frustrated from that aspect. I started doing lobbying at the state and federal level. And so it's just, it, it's systemically, it's a, a system that does not work and it needs massive change. And it needs people who will see their, their stuff. I couldn't agree more. Um, before we say any more, let's take another call and answer a question because um, I do have more questions for you, Connie. 